All right, so the title of my lightning talk is obviously Developing Developers. There's my Twitter handle. Um, so I just want to start out with one of my favorite quotes in the world from Mahatma Gandhi, be the change you wish to see in the world. Um, does anybody disagree with this statement? Raise your hand. That's what I thought. Um, so my question to all of you is, what are you going to do about this? So there's all of this talk about, oh, we're short of developers and businesses need to step up and schools need to step up. And um, I don't think a lot of us agree with that. Um, obviously, some of you are gem maintainers, gem writers, core contributors to many things. So you're used to stepping up to getting stuff done. Um, I think this is one of the biggest problems that's facing our industry, not just from the Ruby standpoint, but from a technology in general. I think Aaron had a stat last night that was blew my doors off, and I don't remember what it was, but like we are not going to have enough people to do all of the cool stuff that we need to. Oh, look at that, I got three minutes left, four minutes left. Um, so last night we started a discussion. Um, it was started out as a diversity discussion, and I kind of railroaded it into more of a kind of what are we going to do about not having enough people discussion. Um, so we started a Google group. It's called the Growing Programmers. Um, Marty was nice enough to do the first post. Your uh, phone went dead, Marty. Um, <laughs> um, what are we going to do about this? So if you want to get involved, join the Google group and get active. Um, I have decided that I am going to do something about that. So I'm currently taking applications, quote unquote. This is not an official job. You will not be getting paid. I will be doing this in my free time for an apprentice. Uh, that apprentice must not currently be, have a job developing software. That apprentice must be looking for to get a job developing software. Um, must be willing to drive their own education. So. A lot of the things I get from people is, I want to learn Ruby, but I don't know where to start, or I'm just going to kind of sit back and expect somebody to lead me down the path. Um, I wish I had time for that. I unfortunately don't. So this person must at least ask questions, like, where do I start? Awesome. I will send you a bunch of links. You will go through said links, and you will come back with another question. Um, I am more than happy to navigate, but I cannot drive the bus. Um, they must be willing to mentor somebody else. So this is a pay forward thing. If you become my mentor, you will be expected to become a mentor to somebody else. Not immediately, but we'll work out the details of that. Um, and all prerequisites apply to any other apprentices in the lineage. So I'm literally hoping to be kind of the lineage holder, as we call it in yoga, for a long line of people that are teaching other people how to program. Um, I have no idea what this looks like. I literally came up with this in the shower this morning, you know, hence the meditation, you know, right brain, rich brain, linear brain thing. Um, so I have no idea what this looks like. There will be blog postings, I'm sure, and some people will get pissed at me, and I'm sure there'll be all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so that's the challenge I'm going to leave all of you with. I've decided I'm going to step up. I'm going to take someone under my wing and teach them how to program. Um, I challenge all of you to go look at the group, pick one of the things in the list, and do it. Um, and that's all I have. So if there any questions, I have one minute and 28, seven, six seconds. Sure. Growing Programmers is the name of the group. Marty came up with that. It's awesome. So actually, just to touch on that, because I had some time, Marty is actually, one of the lists in the group is starting to mentor children. So Marty has been talking about going into his daughter's school and actually working with the kids there to get them more interested in technology, which I think is a great idea. I mean, you hand a four-year-old an iPhone, and they've got it like open, and they're, they're playing games, and you're just like, good God. You hand that to my mother, and she sits there, and she's like, OK. All right, that's awesome. So, I mean, the kids are ready for this. We just need to get in there, get them started, and give them kind of a nudge in the right direction. Um, and I'm going to cut it off early because I'm done unless anybody else has any questions. All right, thanks, everybody. Oh, and Living Social, we are hiring in Boulder, so please come talk to me if you're looking for a job. <laughs>